Hello and welcome back to Talk Norwich City for something different and something quite special here today. As you will now all know, we have officially signed Christian Fusnacht from Young Boys. The Swiss international has signed a two-year contract with Norwich City Football Club with a club optional extra year. Now, there is no one more qualified to talk about this man than a bloke who's bought a house in this himself. He's big, he's Swiss. He's got a house in this, Tim Cooks. <laughs> Timmy, how are you doing, mate? I'm very good, thank you. Good man. I'm happy to hear that. And congratulations, I should start by saying, because you've got yourself a football punditry co-coms position. How are you, how are you uh, excited about that? No, it's a fantastic new role, obviously. Uh, something new for me. Um, I'm still involved with the, with the football, obviously, playing with the uh, under 20 threes for FC Basel or helping them as well. Um, it just is a good transition from being a professional into like being a non-professional football player and, you know, how to find the next thing I want to do. That's a good, uh, good year now to find out what I like the most. What, what's it like feeling how I feel, Tim, where you have to start to maybe be a little bit critical of certain performances now you're in the media? Do you feel a bit on edge about that? <laughs> No, I. Um, you all know me. I'm very honest. I'm, uh, and and people like that about me. I think uh, that's why I, I never like crashed into someone or never had a big issue with someone because I was quite honest. And if, if I see someone is not performing well, I am not afraid to tell. Um, so I don't know. I so far everyone or all the feedbacks have been good. So uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously. Good man, good man. So we're here today, obviously, to talk about your Swiss football friend, uh, Christian Fusnacht. Let, let, let's kick off with, with what he's like as a person, because am I, am I right in saying to me that you you played with him at the Swiss national team, am I right? Exactly, yes. We played together for the national team. I know him very well because I have another friend who was playing or who's still playing for young boys. Um wow. I mean, I like him very much. He's a great guy. He's uh, he's he's similar to me. He has um, obviously his family is very settled. He's very calm. He has a calm background um, on the field or on the pitch. I would say he's uh, you know he's exactly what you need. Someone who goes uh, the extra yard. I would say um, who always gives a hundred percent. Um, also can score if, if necessary. But uh, the most important thing for me is like I knew always when I was on the pitch with him that he is one who goes after every ball, who's, who will never give up. And, and, and that's something I, I was always looking forward to because I, I love those type of players, you know, the ugly ones who when you get past them, you think, all right, that's, that's him done. And, and then all of a sudden he shows up again. I love that, Timmy. We are going to talk about his, uh, his on-the-pitch antics um, soon. But we need to do some basics, Tim, if you don't mind. I've, I've told the, the social media world that I'm having a conversation with you today. And we've had a tweet from Largy24, who's asked the question, how should we correct... correct? <laughs> I, need, I need to get a coffee of me. Correctly pronounce Fasnacht. Am I pronouncing it okay? Fasnacht? Or am well, I yeah, it's not bad. It's Fasnacht. Uh... Oh, Fasnacht. Fast yeah. marked. Okay. Fast marked. So uh, the uh, obviously in Switzerland the A is uh, is very loud. So double S means means not as much as in the English uh, and well language. So it's like more fast fast marked. Okay, fast marked. There you go, Norwich City fans. You've had your your language lesson with 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 Timmy Close. So I'm sure <laughs> Norwich City will will send their invoice in the post to you, Tim. And um, let's talk about. Christian strengths on on the pitch, then Tim. You've already started to talk about it there, and I want to um, I want to credit um, Daniel Emery actually on Twitter, who's pulled together these stats from from Christian's last season in, in all competitions, and I I found them really encouraging, Tim, because one of our challenges last season is the contribution levels weren't anywhere near it um, in terms of our midfield, particularly. And I look at his stats and I think mm, that's going to be good news for us, and what would you say, Tim, are, are his key strengths? Is is it goals? Is it assists? Is it his pace? What, what is it about him? No, I think it's the overall package uh, he brings. Um, he's 29 now, obviously, he's in his prime. 
that's a good thing. Last year, uh, and even when I played against him, it was always uh, difficult. As I said, he's a player who will never give up. He will go deep. He will come short. He will uh, he will try to score if necessary. But he's not too selfish to to not see the man next to him if he's in front of goal. And that's something I think uh, he did very well in Switzerland. Obviously, it's a different league. I would say. Um, I mean, they were the leaders all the time. They were like uh, the team to beat in Switzerland. Um, so I think the role is. Is still the same. Norwich is still the the team to beat in the championship. I think everyone who plays against Norwich or comes to Norwich thinks that's the game of the year because it's just special. The you know the crowd is pumped up. It's always a full stadium. So um, I think he he will find the same sura- uh, surroundings that he had back home in Switzerland. So um, the the question is how fast can he adapt to to the league? You know, championship. As I said before, myself. Uh, I was struggling a bit at the beginning because of the uh, mm. the pace, the, the intensity, like physically as well, and and that's something you need to get used to because Switzerland is obviously a bit different. Um, there is more tactics and techniques and, and and you know these kind of attributes you have to bring on the on the pitch. And and here is um, sometimes you play against a lower table team where um, you know it doesn't matter how good your tactics are but it matters how, how good you can fight against them and, and and you know the first goal obviously is always crucial and, and if you if you win those extra yards as I mentioned before and, and eat more grass how they, you know the football language they always say eat more grass than the other one I think then you, you win most of the games in the championship and I think he is a player who can do that. So I'm um, I'm very excited, obviously, uh, to see how he, he gets on. As you all know, I I follow Norwich anyway, you know, all the time, and, and try to keep up with all the news. and And I'm very delighted that they signed not only Wagner. Uh, I'm also delighted now that he they signed Fosner. Interesting stuff, Tim. I've got a couple of questions off off the back of that. You, you mentioned there the Swiss league, and I'm. And I say this with love and respect, by the way. I want to ask you about the quality because we've signed foreign players before from maybe, I'll I'll call them with love and respect, lesser leagues as such. And I'm thinking, you know, the stats and the numbers are there, but is that because the quality isn't there or or is that a a broad brush and I I shouldn't be judging the Swiss league like that? No, no, it's, I think you see, I would say you see it right because um, obviously it's not as competitive as the championship. Or, or even other leagues in the world. But um, uh, what it is, is that when you play for a big club in Switzerland, you you face always like teams who want to win against you. So they, they always have to bring their best day on the pitch to actually get something out of the game, which then makes it more interesting for you um, because you need to be on your best as well. Or, you know, as a team, you just need to you know make sure that you score at the right time or you're lucky or... Uh, at the right moment, in the right moments, um, but yeah, you. I, I wouldn't say the quality of the Swiss league is as good as the championship. That's uh, that's just like yeah. I think that's a given. Um, I, I I would say that the Swiss league is getting better now. It's more competitive now. There are more teams fighting on the top, but the young boys is still the one. Um, you know, everyone is chasing. You've spoken about the. Um, I guess, how, how quickly he can adapt and, and that will be whether he can get those numbers or, or, or not, Tim. One of the, the key factors here is, of course, he's, he's worked with David Wagner before at Young Boys. How much of an advantage is it, in your opinion, um, certainly from a footballer's perspective, to have already played under a certain manager, now you're playing with them again? Surely that's going to really help him hit the ground running at Norris City. Of course, you know it's always good if a manager knows your attributes and then the good, the good and the bad. Um, obviously, Wagner knows him from the Swiss league. Uh, something that I forgot to mention is I, uh, it will be interesting to see also because they play on synthetic grass, so they play on a, like a 4G. Um, so you know, movement-wise, and, and uh, it's always hard to play against young boys because they train and. Uh, you play their games on 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 the four G grass, which is completely different to grass, you know. And and but he was also good on on the grass. Don't get me wrong, but it's 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 a change as well. Now he you know in England, I would say three quarters of the time you would play on perfect pitches. 
Mm -hmm. uh, the grass is fantastic and and the ball is rolling like it is on a 4G, you know. So uh, I think there are like a lot of good things he can bring and, and he can like look forward to. And obviously Wagner knows that. That's why obviously they signed him. The only well, question mark behind all of that was who is the one who's making the deals now because Stuart is gone and, and mm. you know, who is the guy in charge now? Is it Wagner who does everything? Um, but as I mentioned, well, yeah, I would say it's not the best thing if the manager has to do everything. Um, mm. It's just something that I, um, I, I studied sport management on the side and one of my, uh, you know, papers that I wrote was about the sporting director in the in the UK and, and which important role it, it, mm. it that the sporting director has and it's it's it can bring good things and bad things if you have if you have no sporting director because now Wagner is the one who brought him in if he fails then everyone is you know getting on the back of Wagner mm. so mm. maybe if you have a sporting director that puts a little bit pressure off your shoulders. Do you fancy yourself as a sporting director Tim? There is a vacancy at Norwich City Football Club at the moment. <laughs> Um, so actually, I would love to go into sporting direct in a, into a sporting director role, but uh, I need more experience. Obviously, I would like to get uh, you know to know um, or see other people around the, the world that I know that I could look look into, like different clubs, uh, different organizations, and and how they deal with everything. But yeah, it's it's obviously it's an interesting job. Tim, you've got me excited. I've got this sort of big cheese dream now of Tim Close in the in the stand, sort of dictating the orders to everyone at the football club. I love the idea of that. I really, really do. Um, Tim, I want to talk about again something quite basic, but I guess easy for you. Uh, we're of the understanding at the moment, position-wise, that he's very much an attacking midfielder, but but tends to play off the right-hand side. Was that his role in the Swiss national team with you? Was that where he was playing at young boys and, and assumptively that, that that will be where he plays for Norwich City? Yeah, I would say so. I mean, you could play him in different roles as well. He's very adaptable. Uh, right. He's very, very good in like, you know, knowing where to go and when to go. Um, so I would say he could even play as a number 10. Right. Uh, yeah. or, or maybe as a striker because um, at young boys they had like, two strikers and then they had like three behind them and yeah. he was always going from the left or the right so they would like changing positions um he, as i said he's very adaptable so he he will have no issue um playing different roles in uh, in different systems good news because i'm sure there'll be some injuries this season to contend with and um, Tim, in, in, in the Swiss national team you know when you're in that side or, or you know or, or at least in, in the squad with him what was it that got the best out of Christian Fusnock? Was it diagonal balls? Was it into his feet? Like, Because a big challenge, in my opinion, for, for the wingers that Norris City have had over the last few seasons is how we've played the ball into them, um, how much game time they've had. All sorts of stuff comes mm -hmm. into play here. But for, from your opinion, how did it, this current Norris City side get the absolute best out of Christian Fusnock? I think if we could get him into like a role where, if I can compare it to Buendia when he was at Norwich, I mean, like a player who comes into the centre who, who wants to mm. ball in his feet, but also goes deep when it's necessary. Um, you know, he's that kind of player who can win balls up high, um, but also can, if we, I don't know, get the ball back in, in, in a low block, he can go deep and, and, and you can send him <clears throat> with the long ball. So it's it's more about how fast can you bring a team together who plays you know a few games together to then you know these automatisms who who are so important in football and then if if those like little things work right then it's like a, it's like a bicycle you know it just it just rolls You've convinced me, Tim. You've convinced me. That sounds good. There you go, Norris's players. If you're listening, that's what you need to do. Um, Tim, I, I did. I did have a bit of a giggle because um, in, oh, in sorry, uh, no, you're right, mate. Um, I, I did have a bit of a giggle. Uh, Christian's first interview um, for for Norris City. He did mention that you had had a few text messages, a few conversations with him. I am going to put you on a bit of pressure now, Tim. 
what did those messages entail? And and might I say, do Norwich City need to send you a cut of the a cut of the fee here uh, for getting this deal over the line? No, obviously we were talking before he signed for Norwich um, because he was not able to go over and, and you know see the city, see the training ground. I think uh, everything was quite fast in the end. But we had the chat. We um, I told him about like how much I liked it or loved it actually in Norwich. Um, how much I I not only loved it to play for the club, but also felt like my family felt very safe and and, and home. Uh, over there, and and I think when we were talking about the city, the broads, the the the, the sea, um, London is not too far away, uh, but Norwich has to, uh, you know, they uh, you can have a lot of things going on in Norwich. You just need to find the right places, and um, yeah, uh, he was convinced after our chat, obviously about like moving to Norwich or, or trying to accept that adventure. If you want to say it like that, um, so as you all know, I, I was very, I felt home in Norwich. Uh, we have still a lot of friends over there that we are constantly in contact with. Uh, my Pilates teacher is still the, the same, who lives in Coltishaw, uh, and we are like doing sessions every 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 week on a Monday. Um, so I'm connected to Norwich now, and, and that will always be the case. So what, what what questions did he ask you, Tim? Did, did he ask you, as you say, like, was it nice? What about, like, the training facilities and things like that? Did you sort of have to sort of tell him where to go, which beaches to go to? Come on, I need I need some more I juicy. Know, I can, you know, like, uh, obviously he wanted to ask me if the city is nice. Uh, yeah. He wanted to ask me how the training facilities are. But, I mean, since I left, I think they're even better because yeah. I came back afterwards one time and, and they were, like, unbelievable um so they invested the money very well um i think norwich as a football club gives you a lot as a footballer because the city is like crazy about football and crazy about norwich um or norwich city football club and that's that, that's a good thing because the stadium is always full you know that there's always a good atmosphere they are very honest the fans if you play well uh, they will t they will let you know. They will be behind you if you play bad. They will let you know as well. Okay, if you give a hundred percent, but you have a bad game, they will, you know, they will look after you. They will tell everyone else that you know he he might have a bad game, but he gave a hundred percent, which is important to them to you know play for the batch. That's I think that's the the right um, sentence there. Play for the batch. That's the most important thing. Have you told him about the East Anglian derby yet, Tim? How important that is, and if you haven't, I'm going to tell you. You need to send him a message and say, "Look, I've scored in it, and I became a legend, and you need to do the Did same." Did Ipswich uh, got promoted this year? Unfortunately, yes. All right. Yeah, well, that's good. No, it's more fun for you guys then. <laughs> well, that's we a have. game. That's a game <laughs> I would love to come and 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 watch actually. Okay. Uh, so I need we'll to see out. when the games are. But Not no, I mean. There is. I, I don't think he needs explanation for those games. Uh, as as soon as the 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 week, uh, the week before the the game uh, turns up, he will know all about it. Okay. Okay. Just send him a video of you scoring that header, please, because I need. I can him. show him the stats about the ten years. Now it's yeah, like thirteen yeah, yeah, or fourteen yeah. years. Yeah. Say, don't let me down, Christopher. <laughs> Tim, um, so the other thing in these messages, of course, um, you know, your, your song is is about you buying a house in this. I'm assuming you've you've sort of um, given him a bit of a, 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 a pro bit of property advice. Where, where, where have you uh, where have you mentioned um, that, that he might be best to live or, or shouldn't we say that? We should, probably shouldn't reveal that, should we really? Well, no, but I mean, it's not a bad thing. Uh, obviously, I was living in Brondel, which was a bit, uh, yeah, a bit yeah, further that. out, I would say, yeah. but I was closer to the sea. So, I mean, yeah, it's it's it's. I mean, pick pick your pick you pick the one that you like the most. You know, go closer to the sea, go closer to the training ground, like Ringlefoot or Eton. It's um, not this you haven't recommended this then, Tim? Well, this was on the table, obviously. Uh, <laughs> but no, nah, nah, I mean, uh, it's it's very difficult. This is is uh, is uh, a, a tiny while away from the training ground, and uh, but closer to London. So, 
yeah it's it's whatever you like um there are a lot of options and and norwich has a lot of offers and beautiful um areas to to you know put on the table and then choose the right one tim you have certainly put a smile on my face and i'm sure on many other norwich city fans faces um in in this conversation thank you for your for your time this morning i really appreciate you getting your your insights on them um, oh is his nickname fussy 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 Farsi, Farsi, sorry, the A is, I keep remembering the A, Farsi. Okay, and um, yes, thank you for your insights on, on Farsi, Tim. I really, no really appreciate your time, mate. Always, thank you very much for having me. And of course, thank you so much to all of the Norwich City fans watching and listening around the world. Let us know what you thought of this special interview with Tim Close. He's Biggie Swiss. He's got a house in this. Let us know your thoughts, feelings and feedback by tweeting us or Instagramming us at Talk Norwich City. Finally, Tim, there's only one thing left to say. What's that? O-T-B-C. Yeah. <laughs>